Listen, thanks for coming out tonight. Seriously, this has been a properly lovely night on a Tuesday night. I mean, only in Liverpool, right? This is magnificent. And I think this is, that's right, one woo. That's right. <laughs> that's the kind of pride this city is famous for. <laughs> But no, good on you, because I'm, I'm from just down the road, and, and it's, it's difficult, this world, at the moment. Right? I'm an old lefty, and it's tough in the world to be a lefty. I mean, we've got a man in the White House who's the answer to the question, what would happen if a misogynistic scarecrow fucked a racist pumpkin, right? <laughs> we have got a woman in number 10 whose attitude and facial features make it seem like she's just burst out of John Hurt's chest. So I look local for my good news, right? The nearest city to me, where I'm from, is actually Manchester. Sorry about that, right? But I know. Right? But it's all right. We've got a Labour mayor over there as well, Andy Burnham. We all know Andy Burnham, right? Yeah. Fucking great guy. Yeah, he, he unites the two cities, right? And it was great. I was down at one of his rallies just before he was elected, and it's fabulous. Everybody was just chanting his name over and over again. And that was fine, right? Right up until he started talking about immigration. And he said, how are we going to deal with the refugees who come to this great city of Manchester? And 20,000 people shouted, burn them! <laughs> it's not the liberal message he was trying to get across. <laughs> it is tough, though. People keep telling me the world's getting more racist, and I'm not sure I believe that. But uh, my faith was tested back in April of last year. I don't know if any of you saw this. I, I came down on a Sunday morning. And I put BBC One on my TV, right? And they were broadcasting these beautiful views of London. But as the camera panned down and zoomed in, I saw 20 African men running for their fucking lives through the streets of London. And shortly afterwards, they were pursued by 40,000 Britons <laughs> who chased them through the streets of our great capital for 26 fucking miles. <laughs> it was absolutely disgusting, right? <laughs> but crucially, right, they didn't catch those men, did they? Right? And that is because all racists are fat, right? <laughs> and why are all racists fat? Oh, the irony, Indian and Chinese food, right? So. I'll tell you a true story about that. I did that. This is absolutely true. I did that material a couple of months ago at a club in Manchester, and a guy came up to me afterwards and he said, You know that bit you did about the marathon? Because for this lot over here, it was the marathon, right? <laughs> <laughs> the mixed ability room we've got, right? So <laughs> he said, I thought that bit was incredibly racist, right? Which is missing the point, I'm sure you'll agree. And I said, well, look, I'm sorry you were offended, Paul. I really am. I, I've done that for thousands of people already. You're the first person to complain. Uh, and then perhaps I could have chosen my words next a little more carefully. I said, clearly, Paul, you're in a minority. He didn't like that at all, <laughs> isn't he? LAUGHTER <laughs> 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 <laughs>